Hey everyone, Michael the Chairman here. I just want to come on here and uh, even just to declare for myself, uh, my future self, if I'm looking back at this, that I've always known <clears throat> my purpose. is to help all those I can in this world, but especially starting with the people I know best about. Which is my fellow handicapped people. The shit we go through and the more I learn about it growing up in my life, it is just so stacked against us. When you're handicapped, it cuts across all Races, genders, sexualities, doesn't matter. It can happen to anyone at any time. You can also be born with it, like me. I'm now 25. I do still live at home and not the best uh, conditions at my uh, parents' house. Um, and I'm currently trying to figure out how to live independently, which is damn near impossible. It's not impossible. And I'm Definitely going to figure it out. And some people, you know, handicapped people do live independently and live great lives. But it is extremely challenging and takes a hefty toll. Um, not everything is accessible, not nearly any, anything is. Currently, I'm trying to find an accessible handicapped apartment. And dude, it is so fucking impossible. It is. And you can't really get any like realtors to help you out with it because they don't make a lot from you and it isn't a common thing to do. Um, there's not a lot of really resources for handicapped people to go to to get access to uh, apartments. And when you do find one, it is so expensive, three, $4,000 a month. Uh, or unless you're living, I mean, in a really bad place or a bad neighborhood and it's Usually, like they say, wheelchair accessible, and it's really like one part kind of might be, meaning like you can fit through the doorways, but like everything is not accessible. Like you can't pull up to a kitchen sink and the cabinets are not there so you can fit in and actually get stuff done, for example, or maybe the, the kitchen is accessible and then you can't even fit in the doorway to get to the bathroom. This is so common. I've been touring places. It is... I have yet to find one. I've been doing weeks, months, years, really, of research trying to find a place, and I haven't found one suitable yet at all. And even when you're trying to go out to places, um, most places that, in my experience, are not handicapped accessible, and buildings don't have to update <laughs> to certain standards. Like, I go on the ADUA website, and they're like, yeah, if you do renovations, you have to make it, a, you know, accommodations for handicapped people. Almost all the places I ever go to never have any handicap buttons, and they tell me that I just can't go. I can't go inside. I'm a comedian, if you don't know me, and most places, if I try and go do stand-up comedy, tell me, yeah, you just can't do it here. And you can't even sometimes come in if you just want to watch. Like, like most of the times, really all the time, except for one place, uh, like, I just, I can't go on stage, and sometimes I can't even be in the audience in most places. And it's in Portland, where I am, which is supposed to be extremely inclusive and, uh, you know, accepting, and it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit, and all handicapped people know this. And all, most handicapped people are just ignored. It's true. You can ask any handicapped person. Most of the time, no one gives a shit, and it makes them uncomfortable to hear about it, and you're usually ignored. And there are some good people who will listen and try and help, but it's not too common. And I'm finding that out real hard. And I've always known it. I've, if you know my channel, I've talked a lot about the things I've experienced. I'm just ranting here because it's just, the main thing that got me really riled up is transportation. Because if you can't drive, currently I, I have very uh, many medical problems. I have morphine syndrome, which affects your connected tissue, which is your entire body. All my joints are dislocated. Um, my eyes, I used to be legally blind until I was 20, now I'm 25. 
and now I can see, but I see three of everything and very complicated. Uh, you know, so it's hard for me. I'm still trying to figure out if I ever could drive, uh, but I'm most likely probably not. I don't know. I still have my hopes up maybe someday, hoping for self-driving cars, but transportation for handicapped people with handicapped accessible vans. Um, if something breaks in your van, you're screwed. Let's say you can drive, right? You can drive your own van. If something breaks and it costs a shit ton of money, um, and they don't have that part, so you just can't get around, you can't really just order handicapped taxis all the time. There aren't a lot of services to really help you get around. You can't really just always rent a van if you don't have the money for it, because they're very expensive and all these other services to come pick you up that are private services. Um, and there's very few, uh, but all of them are very, very expensive, very, very, very expensive. If you're handicapped, you are so price, price gouged that you cannot live a sustainable life. I'm lucky still that I have a family that's, uh, you know, I still get to live at home for now and I'm stuck inside a lot, which really sucks. Trust me. I've done it for my entire life and I'm working every day to work myself out of it and become uh, a, a wealthy man. So I can not only help myself, but change systems to help all these other handicapped people. Because I know what it's like, and I'm, I'm glad I'm going through these processes right now. So I can learn every in and out. I've, I've gone through the school system and all that stuff. And I know what it's like uh, through the medical system and all that stuff for handicapped people. But independent living, transportation, all that stuff. I'm trying to learn how to be completely independent on my own. And what I'm learning right now is if you're handicapped, basically... If you're not born into an extremely rich family who will pay for you, and even then, like, you shouldn't have to depend on someone else like that and drain them their time or their money and resources, right? You want to be on your own. So if you're on your own, you're just stuck in debt your entire life, which I know a lot of people are. Like, you know, you're, you don't make a lot of money. You're working two to three jobs. It's ridiculous. This country is so ridiculous. Um, it's, it's just so upsetting and I, i've always known my purpose is to do this i've always known and look i'm glad it's happening to me now so i can learn everything and i just want to come on here and tell my future self right now that i am dedicating everything i have to taking all the power money and influence i gain in my life to helping first everyone in the handicap community once i have the ability to Everyone, everyone, I am going to work as hard as I can to fix all these systems and bring awareness to them by, through my own podcast and my own means of communication, as well as contacting the news, whatever I have to do, whatever I have to do to get the message out there about what we all go through. Okay, because I know no one really cares. That's always the thing. It has to be a trend on Twitter for anyone to give a fuck. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. And if you talk about it, people are like, stop complaining. Well, dude, it's not complaining. There ain't a lot of ways to live here. There ain't a lot of ways to live. I mean, you're, you, it's part breaks in your van, and you can't go anywhere. You're stuck. If I want to get to my job, let's say I'm going to go do stand-up or any other job, and you're, you know, your van breaks, you have really no other options. Unless you have... I mean, if you're in a power chair like me, you really, you don't have a lot of options. And, you know, you're going to have to wait, not just weeks, months for a part sometimes to get that shit replaced. And maybe you can't afford it and you have to go into extreme debt. And the other part is, you know, not every handicapped person can afford a personal driver. If you can't drive, it's crazy. And if you're stuck on social security benefits and you make and save up just a little bit amount of money, you lose all your benefits right away now there's at least in oregon there's something called an oregon able savings plan where if you're a parent with a disabled child you can save up i think it's fifteen thousand dollars every year up to 100k for them by the time they get to 18 or something but even then do you know how fast that drains once you get to 18 on your medical bills it's insane it's insane even if you save up a hundred thousand dollars it's insane how fast that will drain you with all the medical bills and all the extra add-ons you have to do in order to be uh, handicapped and survive. It drains everyone around you if they truly care about you too. Their time and all their resources. 
I just want to come on here and dedicate myself for the betterment of society and changing what really must be changed immediately. Immediately. This whole, I have a bit about it, I'm, I've been working on, but this whole grandfathered in bullshit for buildings to be inaccessible. It's like, isn't it the whole point of a law is that once you change it, you got to follow it? Like, what if they grandfathered in buses? What are you going to do? Tell Rosa Parks, oh, this is one of the grandfathered in buses. Yeah, you still got to sit in the back, Rosa. It would be insane. Right? I've been, do you know how many times I've been told either I can't go inside a building or a business or that I can go in the back and I can't come in with anyone else? All, I'd say like 80% at least or more of the time. It's usually like that. It's that common. And this is supposed to be a, a state that's accessible. It's really not. It's not at all. I can't even imagine the rest of the United States or other countries. <laughs> I've, I've had family members, you know, go on vacations to like, uh, you know, Greece and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I bet the, I, I couldn't go because I'm like, yeah, the, the ancient Greek ruins aren't really accessible. I can't even imagine these other countries, man, because we have the ADA here and it's, you know, we have curb cutouts, some places, and, you know, we have a couple things. There's handicapped bathrooms, which usually I uh, roll up to and there's some walker in the stall taking it up, taking his shit or, you know, doing whatever on his phone. And then he comes out, you know, and has to look down at me in the wheelchair and just goes, and I'm like, yeah. Another day actually happened, a, a waiter, my waiter at the table had to, <laughs> he unlocked the door and came out and stared down at me. I was just like, uh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, yeah, happens all the time, but I'm a little worked up. <sighs> Shouldn't be like this, man. There's so many screwed up things in this country. And I know I'm still grateful to be in the United States. Don't get me fucking wrong. Don't get me wrong. But there's so much that's screwed up, dude. There's so much. And I'm going to change it. I swear to God. With every ounce inside of me, I will change the systems in place that are keeping handicapped people down. You want to talk about a glass ceiling for women? There's, there's a concrete ceiling for handicapped people. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, man. So thanks for listening to my rant. And future Michael, I'm glad of all you've accomplished. See you in the future, Michael.